Welcome to 734 Games, and this is game time. And today I'm going to give you my final thoughts on Cyberpunk. Everybody's been talking about it, but before I get started on that, my nephew is getting cancer treatments. His GoFundMe is in the description. Any money given to this channel on BitChute will go to that. And let's get started. Won't win this war going solo. Might be a good thing we're in this together. That's just it. Don't want to drag you down into the swamp with me. Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Cyberpunk is a decent game. And we both know, we all know that it's not the greatest game out there. Now, a lot has happened since I did my last video about the hot fixes on the One X and about the game on PC. So what I'm going to have to say is basically, um, this is a game that was funded by the Polish government and... They, you know, they had they had a long gameplay demo that ended up being fake. So I'm pretty sure that, oh yeah, and CD Projekt Red is also in in some lawsuits right now about false advertising for this game. So I'm pretty sure that CD Projekt Red is definitely going to get back to this game and probably fix it to where it's at least as good as that um, fake gameplay demo they put out. So I mean, it's it's still. It's, 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 the story's good in this game. It's uh, if you like open world games, this is probably there's something here for you. But the game is not as good as it could be, and it has a lot of flaws. It has a lot of um, technical glitches, and there are problems with this game. So I mean, I would say if you're somebody sitting on the fence and thinking about getting this game, I would definitely have to say you probably want to wait a few years or maybe a year or so and see what happens with this game. I'm sure it's going to look ten times better. I looked at the gameplay demo, the, the old gameplay demo that they put out that was fake compared to the game that I played through. And the game I played through was like a, a Kmart bargain basement version of the game that they showed. It was not at all, you know, it was just like kind of like a pale imitation of what they what it was supposed to be. And I'm pretty sure they probably crushed their old build, meaning that they had a build that was finished for Cyberpunk or near finished probably years ago or, you know, halfway through. And they decided to change direction. I heard that there was an article Jason Schreier did where they said basically said they got a new project that he had lead and he came on and changed everything. So that pretty much means that they had a, a build already and that build was crushed and they did that in favor of a new one. I'm thinking it was probably sometime around the time that they got new development kits. I could be wrong, but you know, that's just how it is. So, I mean, there's, I mean, obviously if you get the game on sale, but I would say wait. That's pretty much my um, final thought on Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you for checking out this video. I'm on YouTube and I'm on mainly BitChute. BitChute is my site. 98% uh, of my views come from BitChute. And um, that's pretty much it. That's it for this episode of Game Time. This is your host, Tom, signing off from 734 Games, where gaming is alive. It's been a long, bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7.